Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Issues with Toddy One Skip, and this is Toddy One Skip, and I'm at work again. Okay, so what I thought was going to happen tonight was I thought that I was going to be doing a video um, under my end formants. Like, it's the same page right now. But anyway, um, I was hoping that I was going to do that and parlay that into things uh, talking about Colts. However, the person that I was going to do that with um, is unavailable. I'm at work. Hey guys, I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, I'm at work and that's got to come first because my job and I've committed to that. So I thought that I was going to do something about Colts um, with my friend Russell and um, because I do have an interest in that and I think that this parlays very easily into that because well, I've been in the chats. <laughs> I've been in the chats. And you guys have a lot to say. And a lot of it's very kind and complimentary. And then there's stuff that you guys have given me to think about. And stuff that you've sent me via email, some of you, um, that you asked me to look at. This wasn't what this was supposed to be. I was... As you guys know already, you know, it started as a crusade to help um, Aaron, in my opinion. It wasn't even to help Aaron. I had 22 subscribers, and, and now I have 220-something. Thank you, all of you. And that's why I'm in the chat. I'm in the chat because that's my way of saying thank you for taking the time. Okay? So... And uh, you guys have asked me to, to, why is it fair of Mike's behavior? Why is it fair of Mark's behavior? Uh, you know, why is it okay for members of the board to be married? It's not. It's not. And like A Andrew Gold says, who I follow, and, and actually I only know of his channel through Aaron's channel, just because one thing is true doesn't make the other thing untrue. There could be two truths in the same thing. And those of you that have said you need to give AA Ron credit, I did give AA Ron credit. I did. I just called out some bad behavior and some language that he used that I said, hey, you know, you got to listen to people's language. Otherwise, we might as well be in a cult. And, you know, there's a phenomena with Facebook, I mean, with YouTube and social media, you know. Again, I went from 22 subscribers to over 200 subscribers and a lot of people writing to me and me feeling like I should get into this chat and be involved in this chat. They're talking and they're talking on my video. So, of course, that's something that I want to do. But you guys have a lot of demands for people who are just here. Um, and, and that's fine. And I've gone back and forth with, is this what I want to do? Is this what I... And people have shown me things that have piqued more interest. And there is, I, I hate to tell you guys, there is another video. But this time you're going to be really happy because it's on Mark. <laughs> So there is a video from 2009, not going to put it up, uh, where Mark doesn't remember if he's put hands on a woman or not. And he says in the video that he's not going to deny that he did it. So somebody, a lot of you have spoken, and me as well, have spoken about bad behavior. There's plenty of it to go all the way around. Now, the only thing I could say about Mark's video is from 2009. However, however, <laughs> you guys have sent me some newer stuff. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to go through Mark, Mike, and Claire. Okay? And uh, we'll take it from there. But that's what I think I'm going to try to do to, uh, to be fair while still keeping up with other things that are going on. So I do have some notes. Um, so, yeah, I talked about that. So, 
again going going to the phenomena of uh, YouTube a lot of people have defended Aaron like he's some sort of better than human and he's not none of us are none of us are better than human we all have faults Aaron has faults but Aaron also did a great thing I've said that I have given Aaron credit but I've also called Aaron out the two can go side by side and those people that have a problem with that are the same type of people I think that are easily swayed and convinced to buy that bridge in Brooklyn you have to please 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 you know this happens in relationships with people that get talked into behaving a certain way or you know this is how people behavior from this letting somebody dictate sides of the story to you is the same type of thing that stifles people in relationships and makes somebody um, much more superior in a relationship and makes the other person subservient I don't believe that that's not okay you're never gonna find that okay on this channel it's not gonna be okay and I feel like that type of behavior kind of manifests like that you know uh, just by you no know, that person could do no wrong always finding excuses I mean that's not healthy behavior you have to call people out on their behavior when they put their behavior out there. I'm not saying go into their personal life. People said Aaron's personal life, Aaron's personal life. I'm not in Aaron's family. I'm not privy to anything. I'm a person that lives in New York that supported Aaron and somebody said, wait a minute, and showed me something that I didn't look for, but it's there online because it didn't happen privately. It didn't happen privately. So is it okay that people beat the hell out of their wives or physically or mentally or uh, verbally abuse people behind closed doors? I'm not saying Aaron did that, but what do you consider private? What is private? what is where you say that's not okay because to me private stops when it affects other people and it becomes their story too or when the person puts it online and if i'm walking down the street and there's a bunch of chaos over there and it comes into my private life it now is my story too because that's what happened that's not how I found out about this. As I said, it's online. But wonton soup broth, that is. Um, so I wanted to, um, to again talk about that, but only because I keep getting that back, and I'm not going to talk about it anymore. For anybody, private life, is private life but not when it's outside in the real world for other people to have it and know about it and to have body camera on it and it's not private life when mark headley puts his hands on a woman and can't remember it so i don't agree with that and and I'm the first one to say it seems like everybody in the Aftermath Foundation has behaved badly. And I guess we're going to dive into that. So I'll keep going with it and I'll report on it. I, I'm going to try. I'm certainly going to try for you guys. Um, this seems like the same thing. Did I take sides? I don't think that I took sides. I don't think I took away from anybody. I don't think Aaron, Mike, or Claire is any better than A. A. Ron. I don't. I commented on A. A. Ron's behavior and his language. And I'm going to continue to do that. 
if it goes wrong. I'm not trying to pick on Aaron. A um, this isn't what this channel was about. But it certainly have an interest in Colts. I definitely do. So we are going to continue on with that. Um, did they do A.A. Ron wrong about being kicked off the board? I'm not going to comment on this anymore because I already said that, that I don't know. I really don't know. And, and ne nobody was there. So I don't know how many times they tried to warn a um, Aaron about his behavior, how many times they said this isn't a good look. Um, people have said, why didn't he start his own their own foundation. I already addressed that by saying maybe they found that Aaron's foundation was perfect. Aaron was not the foundation. And they are not the foundation. They have a foundation, an entity, that they think is worth saving. And that begs to, um, to contribute to the argument that Aaron had when he said that people think of him when they think of the Aftermath Foundation that they think of them both together and that doesn't really work well in his argument when his behavior is bad outside publicly. You know, think about that. Aaron found it there's rumor now that Mike says something about that he founded it and maybe this was a hostile takeover. I'm going to look into it. I'm going to look into it. I will look into it. Be patient with me because now um, being an investigative reporter isn't something that I have experience in, but I'm going to look into it. And if you guys be patient with me, I will always be honest with you. So I'm going to do that. Um, let's say, when is it, when is it enough to kick somebody off of a board? What do they have to do? Because Aaron admits his own behavior has been really bad for four or five years. And I've only said, let's think for the last seven months that maybe his behavior has been bad and they've been trying to pull him up and say, hey, straighten up, please straighten up because this is a bad look. People are complaining. When did they have the right to say, Aaron, we've had enough. Your foundation, it's a good thing, but you're going to destroy it. And now we've got a lot of people involved in it. We're all married to each other, but <laughs> that's not okay. But that's the way that is, you know. But no, that's not okay. How do I feel about that? What do I have to say about that? Obviously, what do I have to say? It's not okay. That's not fair. I, I think that I've already said if somebody gets voted out, there's two people going or there's an implosion in that marriage. So I think I've already spoken about that. Uh all I ask is that you just bear with me to, um, to do some research because I'm not just going to throw stuff at you. Um, and, and without any kind of, um, without any, I, I'm going to vet things. You know, I'm, I'm going to look at things and, and I'm going to vet things. I'm not just going to put videos up there. I'm not going to commit to putting videos up there every day, but I'm going to work on this. And when I get information, I'm certainly going to put it up. You know, I was born in the 60s, so I don't have any real remembrance of Charles Manson, except after the fact and, and watching like Helter Skelter and stuff like that. But I remember Jonestown in Guyana. And I remember... Um, Waco and that's how this happens you start believing just one person and you find their charm and their charisma same difference um, you find it attractive and I'm not talking sexually but there's something attractive about it and uh, you gravitate towards it and suddenly you stop thinking 
and things become what they think. So that's happened recently a lot to the Mormon church. The Mormon church is under horrible scrutiny now because of the um, eight passenger and the D Chad Daybell and that other thing that came up with that kid, uh, Blaze uh, Thibodeau, I don't remember his last name. Um, and um, Sound of Freedom guy, Underground Railroad, Tim Ballard. There's a lot of stuff going on there. And I bring that up because that is very much like what's going on. You know, people want me to bring up Scientology and talk about how dangerous Scientology is. You guys already know how dangerous Scientology is. You already know that. I agree with Aaron. They're trafficking, you know, um, people. And it's not any kind of real religion. It's a facade. And if you don't know the history of um, uh, L. Ron Hubbard, it, it's easy to find out. The guys in the Guinness Book, Book of World Record for the most fiction, science fiction, right? Uh, pulp fiction, the paper that they used to write on was made out of pulp. So that's where pulp fiction came from. And he's in the Guinness Book of World Record for the most imaginative stuff <laughs> ever and then he makes up a religion based on it and he's in an interview saying that he should be, have a religion because you can get rich off of religion Dianetics which is a book that I have and that I think that I've spoken of because I think Dianetics and I haven't read all of the book but everybody that I have heard um, speak about Scientology has said that Dianetics, that the beginning, which is Dianetics, that the beginning there was something worth, there was something that made sense, something worked for them, there was something worth it. Obviously there had to be because it had to um, perpetuate people to keep going more and more and more into sci Scientology until they just grabbed them, right? So until they had their hooks in them. So that's it, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to follow up on what I said. I'm going to uh, do the, um, the dive into Mark, Claire, and Mike. And um, again, there is a video about Mark. I'm not going to post it. You could find it. Um, and I'm going to try to do right by you guys. For everybody that is engaged in the chat, I get into that chat. That's my way of saying thank you and engaging in a chat that you guys are engaging in on my channel. The subscriptions, the likes, thank you. Please keep them coming in. I mean, I appreciate them. If I disappoint you um, and you want to leave, leave. But give me a chance. I would appreciate that. Um, Besides that, I'll keep up what I'm doing because it seems like a lot of you appreciate it. And, and because of that, it makes me want to do it more, right? You, you got to have passion about things and it's nice to be appreciated. And I've always had some sort of um, uh, fascination in cult and cult-like behavior. And I, I remember seeing those... Um, those bodies on the ground in Guyana. I remember that. Um, anyway, I don't want to go down there. That's a sad story. We could talk about that. I could do a dive about that. If you guys, somebody said to me, it's my channel. I should know what I want to talk about. This, my channel took a little deviation here. I'm ready to go with it. If you guys want to tell me um, things that you're interested in, I'm happy to... Um, try to get into it but in the meantime I'll do the thing about Mark Claire and um, Mike Rinder and uh, we'll see how we all feel about that again don't forget there's a video about Mark Headley um, and you could look it up it's not a good look <laughs> it's just not a good look all right guys thank you so much
Uh, this is Toddy One Skip. I really appreciate you. Have a great day. Be better today than you were yesterday, but not half as good as you're going to be tomorrow. Thank you.